Hello guys, welcome to the data structures and algorithm course. This course is brought to you by Asha Kansa Foundation. The instructor for this course is me Aditya Gupta and Samad Shahid. He will be covering the later half of this course. So this is a very introductory video for this course and, and this will give you an idea why should you offer this course and what are you gonna learn in this course. So the expected time, uh, time on the lectures would be around 50 to 20 hours. This is a tentative time, so it, it can change accordingly. The language use will be most uh, prominently English. Yeah, being, um, but being a, a native Hindi language speaker, I can switch to a Hindi, but uh, I, I apologize for that. And will try my best to speak in English only. So the very first question which you might ask before beginning this course is, why should I take this course, right? So if you are interested in software field, this is the uh, most sought out course in the uh, software development uh, field and every HD in, and every company looking for an HD uh, which means software development engineer uh, ask most prom prominently DSA questions in their interviews and apart from interviews if you, are a, if you have any interest in computer science field you should have the uh, good understanding of DSA because uh, it gives you an enhanced knowledge about the efficiency and how should you write code to uh, to make it more efficient than the regular one uh, which will also enhance your programming skills to next level right so coming to the prerequisites the these are the uh, desirable prerequisites and not the mandatory one so i will request you all to have a look at this before starting this course so the first prerequisite is that you should have a basic understanding of Java as we are covering this course uh, in Java and not C++ so you should have a good a basic understanding of Java we have already made a course of Java uh, at Asha Kansa Foundation you can look at it if you want to or you can go to YouTube and search for in Java courses all right so the second prerequisite is basic math uh, you just require uh, min, uh, just require 10th, uh, 10th grade math at max and if there is anything that is uh, required on the top of it we'll discuss it in the course only and and the least uh, and the last but not the least is you should have a good motivation to complete this course if you have a interest in software development field then that is a very uh, required or you can say must do course so the course outline for this course is uh, like this first we will cover recursion then we'll come to time complexity of algorithms this will contains theta and big O notations then we'll cover the recur recurrence relation which will uh, give us the time complexity relation time complexity like big O notation and theta notation of all the algorithms and after that we will come to sorting which will contains all the uh, all the sorting methods like uh, like insertion sort bubble sort heap sort merge sort quick sort and all that stuff don't worry we'll cover all of that in this course then we'll come to linked list uh, linked list and then stacks queues trees binary source trees avl trees rgb trees that is red black trees then you have Huffman coding, graphs, disjoint set, ADT, minimum set, minimum spanning trees, hashing, and then topological sorting at last. Uh, so, at every in every lecture, we will uh, try to cover at, uh, at least one to two problems so that uh, so that the topic will become much more clear through these problems, and we will gonna code it live in this video. So, don't worry if you have anything. Mm. If you have anything doubtful, we'll cover in this in that video, right? So, the important references which you might look uh, during this course is the the Bible of DSA, which is Introduction to Algorithms by Thomas H. Common. This is a very theoretical book, and this is a very um, you can say every BTEC course program or every college student goes through this book at least once. But I will suggest you to Google. Uh, if you have any doubt, you can Google out, and you will get a, a Geeks for Geeks link uh, for that question. So you can search for the topic, and 
learn from geeks for geeks website it is a very good uh, website in my friend in my view and i all do that very often and i learn from geeks for geeks very often so i'll suggest you to do the same so that's all for this introductory video if you have any questions regarding the video or uh, anything about the course you can comment down below or you can also reach to out as a uh, install facebook page i'll show you our facebook page like you can dm us over there we will try our best to contact you and clarify our doubts right so this is the asha kansa foundation you should also uh, follow this course i will highly recommend you do uh, follow this page i will highly recommend you to that uh, we post all ngo related works which we had done on this page so yeah i'll recommend you to follow us on instant facebook pages so till then stay safe happy learning bye bye